Hello everyone, my name is Elizabeth, your friendly neighborhood introvert and founder and creator of Skein of a Different Color, and welcome to May 2023 Speckle Finch Studios Yarn Bliss Box Unboxing! I am so stoked. I have been increasingly more impressed with the beautiful yarns that we have been getting here on this channel. So without any further ado, must fuss, you know, the whole shebang. Let's go ahead and get right on into it using the handy dandy paring knife, just slicing in right there, nice and easy, being very careful not to actually cut myself because I know I should have cut away, not towards, but you know what? It's fine. All right, so putting that right back in there, and let's just see what we got. And oh, cherries! Oh, that's so cute! And now I can actually just do that without having to worry about you seeing my address. But anyway, we have a delectable, delicious cherry theme this month. That is pretty cool. And... Looks like we have a cherry lolly right there, some stitch markers and stickers. Yay, we have stickers this time, so let's meet. Let's go ahead and get right on into it. Stickers. And let me just go ahead and show you the stitch markers right here, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at that. It is so pretty, and I love cherries. Like, seriously, Rainier cherries are my absolute favorite, but red cherries are definitely a close second. And then, let's just move on to the lolly. Oh, it's actually like a little bit of a licorice, I think. Let's see. Can I actually eat this? Yes, I can. So this is a cherry-flavored little lolly stick right there. Absolutely adorable and delectable, and I will enjoy that after I work on the project. And then, of course, here is the card right here. Ah, oh, it just makes me want a cherry pie, and I'm not typically a cherry pie person, but this is making me crave one like there is no tomorrow. Alrighty, so now... Let's just see what... Oh, heck, I'm kind of on theme today, unintentionally, with my nail color. And yes, I need to redo them, but you know what? That's okay. I'm kind of on theme today, which is pretty awesome. But anyway, opening it... Oh, we have a goodies! And this is the early bird bonus! Nice! And oh, I love this! This is so beautiful! Oh my goodness oh gracious. Look at that yarn. It is so delectable. I love it. I l it actually reminds me of Rainier Cherries, not going to lie. And Cherry on Top is the colorway for May 2023. It is their Bouncy DK, which is 100% Superwash Merino 4-ply, 100 grams at 231 yards. Hand wash in cold water and lay flat to dry. Or you can hand wash in this stuff right here because this is like the best i cannot talk enough about it but anyway so here is the yarn oh i just absolutely love the colors now just a little bit of a nitpicky she could have gone a little more red with this but you know what i am not that mad at it in fact it is still so beautiful and delectable and i do see a little bit of the cherry theme right here with the reds and then of course the rainier right there because you know rainier cherries are my absolute favorite so i'm going to read off of this but first let's open up the early bird bonus and see what it is that we got we got a handy dandy tape measure right here oh i love tape measures like i use them a lot just in my day-to-day -day life when it comes to measuring things out and then also just you know it's fun to it's nice to have on hand and then we have a cherry almond soap and let's just see the ingredients if i will use it nope it has coconut oil so i will not be able to use it but that's okay i'll pass this along to my mother because i know that she will get a lot of use out of it ah it's so cool though like if i wasn't allergic to coconut i would use so many more products but i'm allergic and thankfully it's not like a deathly allergic thing but and that is the color right there of the soap thankfully it's not a deathly allergic kind of a thing otherwise i would need an epinephrine pen just from touching it but it is significant enough to where i just can't handle it but that is okay i love a good tape measure i'm actually honestly always looking for a tape measure because with tax return I've been doing a lot of clothing buying and so it's nice to have something that helps me know exactly what size to buy based off of my measurements 
But anyway, let me just go ahead and put this cherry almond soap right back inside this bag to give to my mother. Or maybe I'll give it to my brother because we're actually going to be heading out to celebrate his 16th birthday. So a little bit of a pampering thing right there. All right. So let me just go ahead and read off the card real quick. So we have the cherry on top yarn by the Yarn Bliss box. We have the Cherry Progress Keeper by Firefly Notes, Cherry Stickers by Pip Sticks, and Cherry Candy Stick. Ah, uh, I honestly love this box so much. It's so cute, and I cannot wait to wind this yarn up and see what it is that I make it into. Now, I don't really have a pattern in mind at this moment, but I'm thinking a little bit of a triangle scarf pattern just to, you know, keep it sweet, keep it simple, and everything like that. So without any further ado, let me just go ahead and wind up this yarn so that I can get right on into it. and I have completed the project that I chose for this month's Speckled Fidge Studios yarn. I went on Ravelry and I just simply typed in cherry or cherry blossom and up came the cherry blossom shawl. Now I decided to turn it into a little bit of a cowl with the use of a shawl pin. So let me just go ahead and show you how much I was able to work up. So this actually turned out to be a pretty sizable piece of fabric that I was able to make and it's really versatile. I can make it however I want. Now I did like make it look however I want basically and I did add a little bit of a pico edging right there which I definitely need a steam block after I'm done filming but yeah I am so happy with my new item. It will make a perfect addition to my collection for my spring wares and makes and what have you. But yeah, and then just using a shawl pin like this one right here or any other shawl pin um, is definitely a delightful at a touch. And the stitch marker definitely came in handy because I had to put this down several times. But yeah, I am so pleased with how this turned out. I love how the yarn worked up itself. Again, super wash merino is super soft and easy to work with. And now I can enjoy my cherry candy stick. So let me just go ahead and sign off here so that I can do that. Once again, my name is Elizabeth, your friendly neighborhood introvert and founder and creator of 
skein of a different color and I'll see y'all later. Bye.